uh, so I just wanted to come on and say, you know, thank you for the support I had last week. Um, well, this week technically, because it's Sunday. But, you know, yeah, thanks for the support. And really, um, has some really great messages. Um, I did say I started this vlog to share the highs and the lows, but I just didn't think I would get as low as I did last week. I got really, really low. I was really, really low. Um, and I got myself in a really, really mentally bad state, actually. A really bad place. Um, which ended up in me on Thursday crying to the doctor um, hysterically. Uh, basically saying to the doctor, you know, I nearly ended my own life this week. And um, she said to me, why didn't you? And I said to her, the kids. That was the only reason why I didn't end my life last week was the kids. Um, but even with the kids, I think like one more thing, like I said in the video, one more thing that day would have just totaled me on Tuesday last week. Um, but with all of that, I've had some amazing messages. I've had some great support. I'm really, really thankful for the messages I have had. I did have a message off a friend that um, my disability vlogs had really helped her and she thought they were really, really great. Um, really informative around going to Disneyland Paris because she's going with her little girl. And I just thought that was super great um, that she said that. And I just really appreciated that because I feel like a lot of the time I'm putting a lot of effort into these vlogs and no one's watching them. Um, and But a proportion of the vlogs are for people like her and her family that are going to Disneyland Paris who have got a disabled child and are looking for information and I, and, and rather than me just telling them, I'm showing them. And that to me is really great that if I can do that, it will show like the view from the disability area so that you can actually see what you're getting, um, what you're going to see, um, to see if whether it's going to be worth it for you or whether it's, you know, I feel like that's making me happier. Just talking about that instantly is lifting my mood and, you know, I want to ramble on and I want to talk. And so, you know, I'm just really thankful for the people that have come on and said, you know, um, chin up basically. Um, having a child with a disability is super difficult. It's super hard. I go on a lot about the fact that we haven't got the money for this and we haven't got the money for that. Yes, money would make my life so much easier if I had a load of it <laughs> because I wouldn't have to be worrying about the equipment for either. I could just provide it. But then on the other hand, if you have too much money and you can just provide everything you can be wasting a lot of money on things that she's not going to use and she's not going to need so it's it is a double-edged sword and i was super lucky that i found the standard that she's got at school for 150 online i was super 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 lucky so that's made my life that's boosted my me this week so much seeing how happy isla was so excited to see it today um she has seen it but like to it was like we were finally home late last night and then today we because we had to go all the way down to london to get it um today we sorted it out provisionally we've still got some way to go to get it perfect but we've sort of played with it and got her in and given her some standing frame time and she's sort of like she emptied her bowels which is fantastic which is a really big motivation for having a standing frame because she can get so clogged up and it's not nice and it's a bit ghost to talk about but it is a fact of her life. Like, how would you feel if you were sitting down all the time and you just couldn't physically go to the toilet because you're sitting on your bottom, you know, and you're getting backed up? And that's really painful as a normal person. So um, although it's not nice to talk about, like for the NHS to say, no, she can't have a standing frame at home because our home isn't big enough. It's really heartbreaking for us. And so I've gone out and I've done my best and I couldn't afford a brand new frame. Um, and so I'm the lady who's bought, I bought it off. She had it secondhand and cost her double and she let me have it for 150. And so it has been fantastic already. Like it's been worth 150 just to see her happy this morning, to eat her breakfast standing up and be happy and being able to stand at home. is just lovely. It's just so, so lovely. It's just going to open up doors again for her because we haven't had one for about a year because it's just not been big enough for her um the one we did have um so it just didn't get used because she'd grown out of it and then it was just not it was just a nightmare and a fight to get somebody out to 
deal with it and then we have now dealt with it ourselves which is just really lovely so our food shopping this month is going to be a bit shorter than it would be so i'm going to be making lots of bolognese lots of stews lots of cheap meals but at the end of the day i just got it and that's the main thing um and we've actually got a 40 pound food voucher of the council this month i'm not quite sure why we've got it i'm not sure if everyone with children's got it or if it's a disability thing we're not entitled to free school meals so i've no idea if it's just a our local council have done it for families i've no idea but we've got one so that is going to really be helpful this week so yeah um the doctor did put my antidepressants up and so i'm feeling a little bit i don't think i'm feeling any more cheery or any more happy but I just feel like Isla's, my mood's a lot, is lifted because Isla's just, you know, she's happy and one more piece of equipment down. So next is a walking frame and an electric wheelchair, which just isn't going to fit in our house. So it's just like, what do we do with housing? Do we move? Do we stay and extend? It's not going to make the storage better if we stay and extend. It's not going to make the living quarters bigger it's not going to make it any easier on the rest of the house it's just going to mean isla's got a bigger bedroom and a wet room and i just don't know whether that's going to work for us as a family so it's really difficult um and then yeah this next week we've got uh lily's uh court case um there's a, a thing i can't really talk about it but there's a thing with that so that's going to be emotional for me so i'm gonna have another emotional week this week but um really the moral of this is just to say you know thank you i'm feeling a little bit better not everything's so bad this week but you know life is life isn't it um so yeah thanks for watching please do like and subscribe um Oh, and there is a and there is um a vlog about um a standing frame it's not what i'd hoped it would be because i haven't really done an intro and i haven't done an end into it but i've sort of done my best with it um because jason had to rush off to work and i went to respite today as an extra few hours so um i sort of didn't have the time to finish the vlog like i'd like to of but um i definitely will update everyone with her standing frame once we've got it sort of maybe we'll do some bacon or something and update everybody so thanks so much guys for watching bye